Chicken farming has been the same for nearly a decade. There has been little to no innovation or creativity in the field, and today, that will change. I'm going to make chicken farming a lot more interesting by using lightning. Now, there was a problem with me designing this machine, as I literally had no idea how lightning worked. So, some testing was in order. So, the first thing I want to check is if striking a chicken with lightning will make it drop quick. Check so I guess let's test it out. Wait, just nothing dropped in the first place. And after some further testing, I found out why. Basically, in every second of Minecraft, there are short operations that run every 120th of a second, called game ticks. And each game tick runs a few things that keep Minecraft running. This includes when entities take damage, and when going one game tick at a time, you can see exactly what happens. At game tick 1, you see that the chicken dies, but the item does drop. When I advance in another game tick, the items get deleted. This is obviously a massive problem, but thankfully, I have two ideas on how to fix this. The first being a hopper minecart. They're incredibly good at picking up items, and should work perfectly in this situation, until they don't, because they are, in fact, entities. Which means when lightning strikes the hopper minecart, it is basically disintegrated, making this concept flawed. And my next idea is quite hard to pull off. It involves moving the chicken outside of the lightning kill range in a slow enough manner to where the chicken dies, but also fast enough to where the items can be moved out before being burned. So if I, like, freeze the game really quickly, and I just throw a trident, and if I just break this redstone block, theoretically what's gonna happen is the trident's gonna go down here and hit this lightning rod, and then nearly the same time, the chicken should be fully retracted, and with any luck, this will just work first try. Okay, wait, what? That worked? Wait, cook chicken? That was really easy. Now the only problem is, like, getting the lightning strikes to be consistent. Oh, and a problem this is. As far as I know, there is no easy way to predict when lightning will strike. So instead of trying to do the impossible, why don't we create our own? Thanks to an enchantment called channeling and a little weapon called a trident, this is completely possible. However, tridents aren't as perfect as they seem. They need to be thrown by a player, and having a player throw a trident for hours and hours on end just doesn't seem viable. Thankfully, there is one way around this. We can just throw the trident once and then use this very creative device right here that I designed. It's able to create lightning strikes predictably by opening this trapdoor, allowing the trident to fall and cause a lightning strike. And to reset the system, it pushes everything up and then quickly brings it back down. The trident is brought along in this ride, but instead of being pulled back down, it instead falls, making it land in its original resting position. Okay, and theoretically, this also works with chickens. So if I press this note block... All the chickens now die. I look in this chest. Yes, we have cooked chicken. However, I think this cage actually has a problem. Like, the way we're holding the chickens. If I freeze the game for a second, I just spawn a whole bunch of babies. 20 minutes later, when they grow up, they'll phase outside of the cage. Like, look at this big man. And as you can see, those chickens down there, they're, they're dead now. Now, because Minecraft is Minecraft, we aren't able to put tons of baby chickens into a quarter of a block space and expect them to not try to get out. I wonder how illegal that is. Uh, anyways, because babies phase through blocks, we need to make sure they grow up in a controlled environment. To do this, I got help from a person by the name of Slick. He and I literally spent hours creating so many different designs in order to solve this one problem. Like, we went through cauldrons, icy loops, slime pushers, and my personal favorite, the rotisserie chicken. Man, is this thing amazing. It works by pushing chickens until this point, where a trapdoor will push the baby chickens through the slab, sorting them. And because adult chickens are big, they'll be retracted back with this trapdoor, making them fall into this hole, where they're then transported to the strike chamber. The babies, on the other hand, drop into some water, where they're then forced back into the system. Look, look at this device. It's Yo. the rotisserie chicken. Yo! The rotisserie chicken. Yo! Chickens get sorted. Oh, man. <laughs> dude, look at this device. Look at all, dude, look at all the baby chickens. Yo! <laughs> dude! Oh, they got boing. <laughs> they got boing. Dem Demise, do you like the rotisserie chicken? I do. Now that everything is done, there is nothing left to do but bring the entire thing together. So, starting with the death chamber, followed by additional chicken transport, with two modules of the rotisserie chicken not far behind. And for the cherry on top, a cage of chickens which will produce eggs to make this farm completely automatic. Okay, so this thing is done, actually. I mean, look at this. It's so amazing. It just all pushes down here, and then they get struck by lightning. But honestly... I feel like there is some more work to be done. Like, I think it'd be cool to have this entire system rotated on every single side. If you know what I mean. Like, all around. I think that could look cool. So, I guess let's do it. After redoing the killing chamber and then duplicating the main growth system three more times, it now looks absolutely incredible. Chickens are born and then forced to be in a loop until grown up. Then they are separated from the crowd to be put into a tunnel, which will transport them to the wrath of 53,540 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Okay, and there is a clear problem to this farm. Lightning only happens once every nine hours, and obviously this only has the killing method of lightning. However, that's not true. Entity cramming exists, where basically there are more than 24 chickens or any sort of entity inside like a certain space. They'll basically start to die, and we can get items that way. They just won't be cooked chicken. So what I'm gonna say is it's a feature, not a bug, just like chickens being able to escape outside of the transportation system. It's a feature, not a bug. Okay, and with that, I think this entire farm is finished. With eight quarters of the rotisserie chicken and one singular death chamber, I think it's safe to say I accomplished my goal of bringing new life to this industry. If you for some stupid reason really want to build this insane device, it's on my Discord server. And if you want to learn about how I created a tree farm that makes 160,000 items per hour, then maybe give this video a watch. Anyways, I'm out. Bye-bye.